Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the McGonagall Boxing Podcast. Let's get straight down to it, shall we? So, um, Robert Garcia has come out this week and said, listen, move to the States. Move to my training camp eight, nine weeks out, Andy Joshua, or forget about it. I'm not moving to London. I'm not being dictated to by you. You follow me. Now, I like that. I think Garcia has got his stuff in order. He's a very respected trainer. He's got a lot of good fighters, hungry fighters. Um, proofs in the pudding with the world champions he's developed over the years. Um, and, you know, start with his own flesh and blood, Mikey Garcia. Um, I know for a fact that Joshua likes to call the shots. I know he likes London. Um, but, you know, if he wants to get back to being the elite in the heavyweight division, I believe he's got to go and do what Garcia says. He's got to now be the dictated to rather than the dictator. Because I do feel he's, Joshua's had it all his own way for far too long in regards to training. Angel Fernandez, is he the right man around him? I don't think he is. I don't think he's qualified enough. I don't think he's experienced enough. And he seems very much like a sympathant. He seems to be able to tell, um, you know, Joshua seems to be able to tell him what to do, when to do it. I don't see leadership in the corner. Compare that to Sugar Hill, you know, with, with Fury, shouting at him, bawling at him, get yourself in gear. You're losing this fight. Get away from right while well, right hand. If you watch that third fight, brilliant corner, corner shit. That's what you need. Even, you know, to take reference to the UFC, Leon Edwards, you know, corner was screaming at him. You're blowing it. What are you doing? You know, you're letting yourself down. Come on, son. You know, you need sometimes to kick up the backside sometimes. And, of course, what happened? Edwards got out of his stall and knocked um, Usman out the fifth round. You need strong leadership. You cannot be calling the shots all the time. So I really like that for Joshua. Um, I think he needs another training camp with Garcia to get that aggression back, that spite. And I think Garcia will do that for him. I really do. But um, I didn't see enough of it against Usyk. There were, there, there were improvements, absolutely. But I didn't see the spiteful, nasty, snarling Joshua that you know you saw when he was up and coming. Even against Dillian White, when he smiled, when he had Dillian White in trouble. You know, that's the, the, the stalker. You know, he, he's got to back his power. You know, it's kill or be killed now. And all right, if he gets knocked out, he gets knocked out. But he's got to go with his strengths. He's not a boxer. He's an athlete. He's a strong specimen of a man. And he's a puncher. Um, he has got better boxing. But, you know, he can use that to set the punches up. But he should be stalking. He should be putting the pressure on. He should be dictating, not being dictated to. And I believe Garcia knows this. And I think he will get that under him. Now, for me, I think Joshua needs to go down the wilder route that world has come back with a very smart move. Hellenius over the hill, um, but decent opponent will give Wilder, well, I reckon give him a few rounds. He'll be game, a uh, proud fighter, and Wilder should get him out of there. But that's a nice coming back fight. Joshua needs one of them. He needs to build his confidence up. I don't know what Hearn's doing, talking about rushing him into a, another world title contender. He needs to stay away from... Um, world title contention for now. Stay away from Parker, Joyce. He doesn't need these hard fights. Let him, even Dillian White, stay away from Dillian White. Let him rebuild. Let him have, I know, someone outside the top 10 for once. He's had six years of constant back-to-back-to-back tough fights, world title fights, learning on the job against the elite. Nothing but respect for Joshua. He hasn't ducked anyone, but... You know, it's it, it, it's just too early. It's too early. He needs to develop his skill sets. So, you know, don't don't rush back. Maybe let him even fight an Ortiz. I think Ruiz will, will do him this weekend. Um, you know, let him fight a... Yeah, I don't know. Obviously, you can't, you can't go down too far because the crowd will, will, will turn on that. But, you know, there's there's a plenty of, of options where, um, you know... Uh, he could, he could, he could easily build his, you know, stock up, Joshua, while, you know, getting his confidence back. That's what he needs. Um, two or three fights of them, you know. I'd like to see him really implement Garcia's style, and uh, you know, like for me, someone, you know, Trevor Bryan, 
Lucas, you know, not Lucas Brown, but maybe Otto Wallin, um, you know, um, Ivan Ditcho, you know, all these these fighters, you know, these 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 people that um, you know deserve, um, you know, a good decent payday. They're respectable, but Joshua's going to win. Build his confidence up. That's who he needs, and it's still a marketable name, respectable name without going against the elite. So it's interesting times for Joshua. Obviously, it's make or break now. He can't afford any more losses, that's for sure, um, in the next couple of fights. You know, he needs to build it up, to two or three fights, and get back in there for world title honours. And, uh, you know, if he falls short again, he falls short. But um, that's what I, I still see a, a three or four year plan for Joshua. I really do. You know, he's in good shape, keep himself in good shape. He's an athlete, he's a specimen. So it's not over for him, but he needs to be smart now. Hearn does not need to rush him back. He, he, his own of speaking wise, he knows he's on big money. I know he's under pressure to deliver for them, but they don't need to rush him back either. Take your time. He's still young enough, 32. Obviously, the big money now is on um, Fury um, music, but that's going to be interesting, the time frame, location. I think it's a bad move, putting it of the World World Cup weekend, I really do. I think that's going to be overlooked and overshadowed. Nothing, unfortunately, compares to the World Cup final. It may be the undisputed heavyweight title, but still, it's going to take some of the shine off it. So, I would I would back off. You know, I really would um, until maybe January for that um, or February. Uh, and obviously, the big fight this weekend. I'm going to touch on my next podcast is Ruiz Ortiz. It's a good fight, competitive fight, but I think. Obviously, I'll break that down, but I think Louise is over the hill now, and I think Louise looks in great shape. I think he's hungrier, and I think he, he'll beat Lewis Ortiz, possibly by stoppage. Um, all right, guys, I just want to touch base on Joshua anyway. Very interesting what Robert Garcia has come out and said. I like it. I think he's no nonsense. Move to the States or forget about it. That's how it's got to be, and hopefully Joshua is up for that challenge because that's what he needs.